for those who venture into the room of Exodotum, they will more than likely find either this sword or this sword, uh, which, which unofficially slash officially belongs to the Force Boy, a.k.a. Ocean Trader, a.k.a. Director of the School Servant movie, or that bow staff, or that battle fan, or that long dragon hilted sword. These are the items that I carry. I collect these sort of weapons. Because I'm all about weapons. I'm a big fan of them. Melee weapons especially. Not a gunman really. They're pretty good though. Which is basically what this next deck is all about. Oh, actually don't one here. With my uh, equipped spell deck. Here is the deck in question. Sorry, that's too close. But here is the uh, deck in question. This basically the strategy behind this deck is using a quick spell, but it's a bit more unique than that, rather than just getting monsters and equipping them. But we shall I'll explain it as we go along with the deck video. So let's first, as we always start off with the monsters. Guildford the legend, naturally when you when you summon it when you, when you summon it, you can equip monsters, equip cards from the graveyard to this, any pos you know, it's good to get any equipped from the graveyard, pretty simple. Elemental Hero Blade Edge, it's a powerful warrior with piercing, uh, there is a, a card in here that I'm going to show you that combo with him, and I'll point, them out, point that out when I get it. Gear Freed the Swordmaster, again, you equip it with a card, it destroys a monster, so that's pretty kick-ass. Mahavelo, it gains 500 attack for every, uh, Equip spell card, an additional 500 attack. Blade Knight, because it's basically a, well, a staple sort of warrior card, it's good to have in there. Sword Hunter, for that old school value really, I just really like Sword Hunter. Don't ask me why. Uh, maybe because his swords are making an X, I don't know. Necro Gardener, uh, basically just, it's a warrior that can stop attacks. That's always useful in this situation, when you're about to get attacked really. Gear Freed the Iron Knight times three. Morphin Jar, another that's a staple there, we draw faster. Command Knight, this is sort of going for the toolbox look now. Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. Helps, you know, defend my life points against weaker sort of monsters. Armed Samurai Benkai, I have two of them. Basically for every time it, every equipped card is equipped to it, it can attack an extra time. So I'm sure people know the com the combo with him when you, when he gets going, it's pretty good. Spells, this is where the deck shines, because it's all about good spells. The Broken Bamboo Sword, now I know what people are thinking, that card is shit, but as I'm sure other people are aware, there are support, and here they are. The Soul Devouring the Bamboo Sword, basically gives you the monster equipped with Bamboo Sword the uh, effect of Yatagarasu for two turns, which is pretty good. And the Golden Bamboo Sword, which basically you can, is a part of greed if you've got Bamboo Sword on the field. United We Stand and Mage Power, these are the, possibly the two most powerful equipped cards out there and the two most staple, you know, mostly used. And I thought this is a deck based around the equip, so it, it was essential. Gravity Axe Growl, uh, monsters can't change the battle position, it increases the attack of the monster equipped with by 500. Shooting Star Bow Seal may decrease the attack of your monster, but you can also use it to decrease the attack of your opponent's monster. It could be useful, actually, if you don't want to take a lot of damage. Release Restraint, Necklace of Command. Then here's where the, it's going to get a bit confusing, because I have two Eternal Rests. Now people are thinking, why Eternal Rests? Because I can equip the Crypt Spell to my opponent's cards. So if that be the case, someone's got something like an incredibly powerful monster out, I can simply use an Crypt Spell, equip it to them, and then play that bad boy. It's a very unique combo, Eternal Rest is a card that's rarely, never used really. It's also good if someone used Premature Burial or something like that, so that's always good. Mystical Space Time Boom for that sort of staple, staple side of it. Black Pendant, a good equip, steals damage when it's destroyed. Now here's the card I mentioned that, uh, that I really use for comboing with uh, Blade Edge, and this is this Ballista of Rampart Smashing. Basically, 
if you don't know what it does, it increases the attack over the monster by 50 of your attack points when it attacks a face down defensive monster. So it's really good for any monster that's piercing, but I thought I'd put in Blade of Twisted Warrior. Tail of the Fickle basically lets me switch around the crook spells to different monsters, which I think will be good if, by using stuff like Eternal Rest. Axe of Despair, I have two of them. Uh, again, just a basic sort of use, use a lot magic card. One of Mind's Eye deals all, any any damages that is made to a thousand, which can be useful. Card Destruction, which to help me get that better hand. Big Bang Shot, uh, which allows piercing, which can also be good for a combo win with the buddy believe the rampage and smashing thing card do that. Dragonic attack. Uh always gotta have a little dragon element in any extra dark one deck to be honest. So uh, and it's also good equip. Lightning Vortex just for these are a bit of staple now, lightning vortex for just sort of clear the field and heavy storm. Then we have Ekbior Ekbior Drakmord, which is a good equip which stops opponents from attacking and destroys them on their second turn. Uh trap we have Collective Power, which is basically the trap card version of Tale of the Fickle, which is, pretty, which is a good card. And then really Eternal Rest, which is the trap card version of Eternal Rest, and it's basically the same effect. And after that, it's just Threatening Wall, so a bit of stalling and draining shield to recover my points. That was the Equip Spell, ca equip spell Deck, uh, and I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.